And of course, I have to tell her something that is guaranteed to upset her. Uh oh. Can you just guess what it is that I have to tell her? She's Raising the will. What was that? She's out of the will. Out of the will. She's out of my will. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Ah, darling, you look beautiful tonight. Oh, Reginald, my love. What has it been? Ten years of wedded bliss. Ten years, three months, twelve days. Ah, it's been the most marvelous time of my life. How could I ever forget the way we met after that first date having Italian food? Oh, love, <laughs> the way that the garlic emanated from your mouth. <laughs> so virile and vibrant you were. And you just drew me in with your charms. Sweetheart, I have something to tell you. Yes, darling. Brace yourself. Oh, okay, one moment. <laughs> I'm ready. I need to cut you out of the will. <gasps> Reginald! I'm sorry. It's not me. I promise it's not me. It's my father. You know how my father never approved of our marriage. Your father is a beast. Yes, I know. But nonetheless, he is the pipeline for all of this money. And unless I do what he tells me to do, I'm afraid we'll both be out on the street. Now, it's not that we can't live here for the course of, how did he put it, for as long as I choose to remain married to you. Oh, oh my <laughs> but goodness. But unless I cut you out of the will, he said that he'll cut both of us off immediately. Reginald, this is tragic. I know. Do you know how much I enjoy this house? All the rooms and the crevices and the places to put linens. I can't live <laughs> anywhere else but this house in these conditions with you. Darling, I don't know what to do about it. I tried to reason with him, but as you say, he's a beast. I'm afraid I have nothing to do but to cut you out of the will. He's a lawyer, you know, so obviously I can't fool him about it. There must be some way that we could stay together and yet fool him, don't you fool think? Fool him? I don't know. I mean, the only way to fool him would be to make him think that I divorced you and married somebody else. As painful as that would be, <laughs> as much as I love you, it would be less painful than losing the house and everything in it. Are you saying you want to divorce me? Well, just to make things last a little bit longer, Reginald. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Why don't we just pretend that we're getting divorced and then don't you still have those clothes from those amateur theatricals you used to do? <laughs> of course I do. Why don't you dress up as somebody else and we'll pretend that you're my new wife? That way, you and I can stay married together and when father comes over, he'll think that you and I are divorced and that I have a new wife. Reginald, you are brilliant. In fact, I could pretend to be Kathy, that performer that I once employed. Kathy, ooh, wow, Kathy was actually kind of a hot number. <laughs> That's a wonderful idea. Why, why don't we see, oh! Look, here's that old wig. Oh, yes. Oh, out in the vestibule, I think I might have. Where is that now? I well, just... Here, we could just pick some stuff. Oh, let's see, Kathy. Oh. Kathy loved to wear that black drape around her. Yes, that's it. Here. Perfect. Oh, wow. Wait a moment. Let me just put this on. <laughs> oh, it's on you! I couldn't believe it! I was almost fooled myself! Oh. Well, we better oh, do something oh. about that before Father comes over. I need now, to... Mr. Weatherford, oh. Oh. I apologize to shop your server. The telegram has come for you. It says that your father shall be arriving here this afternoon. This afternoon? Yes, sir. But her hair's falling off! <laughs> I mean, um... Uh, it's just the condition I have. Yes, um, Arthur. Yes, sir. I have news.
news for you. Some this is great. We can try it on Arthur, our longtime butler, and see if it's convincing. Arthur, please, come in. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to tell you that I have divorced my wife. Sent her packing and have remarried this beautiful woman, Kathy Lestrange. <laughs> I heard your entire scheme, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, quite beautifully, and I will assist you in, in any way that I may. <laughs> well, can you walk behind her and hold her hair? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go for a test run? Oh, Arthur. Oh, Pleased to meet you, Kat. Pleased to meet you. Very good, sir. Are you kidding? You look like Geppetto! <laughs> well, well, this is ridiculous. Arthur, are we sure we can trust you? I mean, you've not always been the most upstanding <laughs> butler in the world. You've often been at my champagne. <laughs> Sir, that is a vice of mine that I no longer hold. I will do anything in my power to help you. Point. I view you as family now. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. I know this is a ridiculous scheme, but... You might as well know the all of it if you don't. You see, Father has threatened to cut us both off completely from this house and the money and everything he gives us if I stay married to her. So we're fooling him, you see. We're going to pretend that we got divorced and that I married Kathy. Yes, and Mr. Weatherford, if he were to, God forbid, do this, then he would... Oh! I told you to hold that on her head! <laughs> well, of course, Perhaps hire me for employment. <coughs> well, are you on our side, Arthur? Of course, sir. Fine. Yes. Well, come here. <laughs> Why don't you and I go upstairs and you can practice singing and dancing like Kathy? Arthur, yes. make all of the preparations for my father's visit. Oh, God. With haste, sir. Let's go. Sure. like a good place as any to set up. Huh? It seems abandoned. Oh, and here, a fine assortment of wigs and things for charlatans. Yes, this will be my new base of operations. Ah, this desk is perfect for a man who's willing to sell brides, brides from America to any other country. <laughs> I can just imagine it now. Hello, Christoph. Yes, I have your bride right away. Yes, she's very exotic. Her name? It's Laura. Yes, very exotic. Oh. Okay, I'm here, Mr. Samson. All right, great. I think we're going to have to get some photographs of you to send around, put in the papers. Okay. This is the most exciting opportunity I've ever had in my whole entire life. The last thing, I mean, the first thing I've ever wanted to be is a bride. <laughs> yes, it also will be the last thing you ever are. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Samson. Robert, you are here early. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I am Robert. I am Laura. This Laura. is Laura. Bride. Yes. 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 Remind me why I'm here. Robert, well, Robert, you <laughs> agree that you would use this place for the bride's business, and when the owner of the house was not here, we would use this for extra income now. Your author, yes, yes. You know, your hands look different from your handwriting. Yes, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> this, is, this is she. Yes, and I'm practicing with my bouquet. Fantastic. Uh, so yeah. your owners are away, right? This, uh, Mr. And, and Mrs. Weatherford are in their room right now, and their father shall be here this afternoon. I'm quite sorry for this. You said that they would be gone! I thought that they would be gone, Robert! You said they would be away rowboating! They were supposed to be, but there has become a problem for Mr. Weatherford and his inheritance, and he must pull this ruse to make his father think that his wife is another woman. I know it sounds rather confusing. Do you think he'd be interested in uh, purchasing a new bride? I'm a 
Surprise! <laughs> Top of the line! <laughs> That is not a bad idea, Robert. Hmm. But he is quite fixated on having Mrs. Weatherford play his fake wife. He wants his actual wife to pretend to be a different woman. Yes, exactly. Is she a bride? Because I trained as a bride! <laughs> she went to three years at Juilliard for this role. Three years at Juilliard? Yes! Well, shoot, the, please stand up. Move your head left and right. Her hair stays on her head. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how expensive it is to get brides who aren't bald. <laughs> well, perhaps Mr. Weatherford will come down voluntarily and he will react to her in a promising way. All right, Laura, I'm going to make it fake. Ah! Uh, uh, no! Uh, this is uh, a friend of mine, Robert. Uh, oh, a friend of yours? Yes, sir. Uh, he what are you doing inviting friends over here? Well, he came here to assist me with today's uh, arrival of your father. He is another butler. Well. Oh, a butler, are you? And who is this, the maid? Uh, yes, the maid. All right, well, let's see them do their thing. Well, let's actually put her on display and see if she would fit you for your needs. Oh, that sounds really appropriate. Sit down. <laughs> she walks like a bride. <laughs> yes, she's a quite a beautiful woman, and has, her stride is very marriageful. <laughs> Part of being in this role to serve you is to make sure that everything is as tidy as possible. And show him your head movement. <laughs> Excellent for a, a maid and maid. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I don't have time for all of this. I'm sure they'll do just fine. Why don't you take them up to the servants' quarters and get them ready? Very well. I got the part! I got the part! I'm a bride! Whoa! She's very excited to clean. Oh, what a mess. Oh, no. Father, here, now? <laughs> Where is your butler? I had to let myself in. Oh, yes, I, I've been chastising him, Father. He's been at the vodka again. <laughs> you know, I've said on more than one occasion that you should let that doleful Arthur go. Oh, yes, I've got to learn to listen to you, Father. In fact, I have listened to you. You were right all along. That poor old Estelle that I married. That was the biggest mistake I've made in my life, just like you've always been telling me. Oh, Reginald, my yes. boy. Yes. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Okay. Oh, <laughs> that gold-digging hussy, you finally outed her, huh? Yes. <clears throat> I need a cognac to celebrate. Oh, yes. Oh, cognac coming right up! Uh, and the maid. Oh, well, all right. You made it down again, I see. Uh, oh, no. Oh, dear. He thinks that she's my bride. I'd better keep the ruse going, or else I don't know how I'll justify having two women in the house. Here you go. Ah, Mrs. Weatherford. I apologize for not being at the door, sir. It's so wonderful to see you. May I take your sweater? Your no, towel. please don't touch me again. <laughs> uh, and, and anyway, Father, this is my new bride, um, Laura. 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 I met Laura yesterday. Yes. <laughs> uh, it was love at first sight. It was. There she was, standing beneath the. Uh, oh dear, I'm stuck. Standing beneath the what? Help me, please. Standing beneath the mirror, we were in a, in a mirror, in a fun house. It was fun? Yeah. And what's your name? Oh, yes, Reginald. <laughs> Reginald just swooped me off my feet. I was so taken with my own reflection. But then when I saw him, I thought, oh, this is my husband, and I love you. Uh -huh. Yes, and we were married right away, and now there's no reason for you to 
kick anybody out of anywhere or cut anybody off of anything. It's me and Lucy. Laura! Laura. <laughs> Reginald, I must say I'm a tad disappointed. Disappointed? I but... went to Juilliard for three years. <laughs> you didn't even invite me to your wedding party. Oh, yes. Well, there's a very good reason why I didn't invite you to the wedding party. I mean, I have uh, Why didn't I invite him to the wedding party? You haven't had it yet. What? You haven't had it yet. That's right. I haven't even had the wedding party yet. Oh, that's wonderful news. Yes. <laughs> so I suppose we should just have it tonight, then. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello. Uh, the, 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 this, this is, is my bride. Chantress. Uh, yeah. uh, my wife. Uh, 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 Josephine. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. Yeah. Yes, uh, Father, what I didn't tell you was that I have other fantastic news for you. Arthur has recently married this beautiful Josephine that he met uh, at the carnival. At the carnival. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. Um, she, she was working there as a, uh, as a, um, as a waitress at the carnival, <laughs> serving corn dogs <laughs> on a stick. We live to serve, sir. Yes. Uh, Hello. Are we all then? Yes, sir. I think you've met a stunning, stunning woman. Really? Have you officially married her yet, or are you just engaged? Well, we are engaged. But not actually married. Well, not, not yet, sir, but the wedding will be in, in, in a short time. Here's my chance. I'm going to steal that beauty away from him. <laughs> in a short time, so we shall be married, and it'll be a, a lovely, a lovely union. Oh, oh yes, 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 I can see. <laughs> yeah, Arthur! <laughs> lovely. Well, so why don't you break out the champagne? It will all toast to celebrate for each other. Uh, yes, yes. Allow, allow me. <laughs> yes. Five glasses, Arthur. There we go. My goodness, Josephine, it is good to meet you. <laughs> what am I, chop liver? Uh, <laughs> I trained, I trained. <laughs> A toast to new beginning. New beginning. New beginning. New, beginning. new love. New beginning. Cheers. 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 <laughs> so, Tell me all about the corn dog arts. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Father, in, in her religion, it is traditional to keep one hand on her head while talking to her. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, allow me, sir. Please, please. What did you say her name was? Josephine? Jo Josephine, yes. Yes. Jo jo Josephine? Yes, exactly that. Yes. Oh. Yes. Entrancing, truly. Well. I can see that. Never met a woman like you, not once. That's not true, he met her a lot! <laughs> when I look into your eyes, I, I see a familiarity. Oh. I thought our souls were meant to unite. Oh, of course, yes. <laughs> Please walk with me, just here. <laughs> I think you should abscond from this place. Run away right now with me. Why don't you treat me that way? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm wealthy beyond your imagination. I uh, pay for this whole place and indeed the whole building. Uh, Father! Hmm? Uh, <laughs> why don't you allow the women to retire to the powder room so us gentlemen can talk about boy stuff? All right, we'll break out the, uh, the, the billiards, perhaps. Yeah! Right? yeah. I'll just stay here and smoke cigars. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, cigar, yes. sir, yes, the if finest. You don't forget. Oh, certainly not. Oh. A yes. oh, thank you. Goodbye, Father. Yes, a pleasure. I have been working with Juilliard for three years. You know who I have as an agent. I have Mr. Samson. Now, who do you have? <coughs> <laughs> uh, Father, may I speak to you here by the bay window? <laughs> of course. Father, I know you and I know your ways. If I know my father, you've set your eyes on that. What? Well, preposterous, father. Reginald, Reggie. This is exactly how you told me you met mother. No. Father, 
There's a reason why you have to be very, very careful about that woman. Oh? Yes, yes, I need some reason why he has to be very, very careful about being near her. Some crazy... Prophecy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She has leprosy. It makes her hair fall out. Oh, tragic. Yes. That poor dear. Yes. One made of pure starlight and fantasy to be stricken with such a diabolical disease. I never knew my old man had the heart of such a poet. Oh, oh, God. Man, I've been waiting for you in the car for two hours. <laughs> hi, sweetie. Yes, hi. Uh, um, Jonathan, I brought all the bags in. Shall I bring them up to the room, sweetie? Please, Allow darling. me. Allow me. Miss Weatherford. Yes, why don't you take Mother upstairs, Arnold? Right, right, Arthur. Whatever the hell your name is! <laughs> Miss Weatherford, follow me. Charlotte, I'm sorry. Uh, we're discussing pork belly prices. <laughs> well, did you tell him about the will? It's all been taken care of, Mother. Oh, yes, I, I divorced Estelle and married someone else. You'll meet her shortly. Oh, that's delightful. Why don't you go upstairs and take your beauty nap? Uh, <laughs> really, Father, I thought you were rather fond of her. Well, Reginald, it's time to tell you something about the way marriage works. You see, sometimes you're betrothed to somebody and you don't really enjoy their company. Frankly, maybe you're betrothed to them for some nefarious reason. Like, I don't know, a partnership in a law firm. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Are you implying, Father, that you only married Mother because she was the daughter of the senior partner of your law firm? <laughs> <laughs> you would have made an excellent lawyer, son. <laughs> oh, Dad, I'm a bit aghast. Well, Charlotte's all right in her own way. It's just I've never really had love, you know? Like true burning passion. I've always been work, 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 and Charlotte's been there, steadfast, a hand to cry on when I lost a case. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, good with the servants, bringing bags and what? Did I hear about an unhappy marriage? <laughs> uh, you did indeed. Uh, sir, what's your name? Well, I am the senior Mr. Rutherford. Rutherford, Weatherford, or whatever your name is, if you are interested in being wed, why, I am the man for you. Uh, <laughs> are you butler? You have two butlers? Yes. And both of them are this handsy. Why? Uh, one is in charge of seating at table, serving, filling up the drinks. And one is in charge of romance. Yes. Yes. The, the romance butler. <laughs> I can see why that would be important for a man who's trying to get divorced. Yeah. It must be a new fashion these kids are doing. I'll have to look in, into getting one myself. Please, go on. <coughs> yes, well, why don't you leave me alone with this charming man as I have some uh, business, Master, to attend to with him. Oh, I don't know what the hell's going on here, but I've got to make sure Estelle understands that I still love her. <laughs> 